Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are and what time of day it is when you watch this video. My name is Z, and welcome back to my gaming corner. In today's guide video for World of Warcraft, we are here at the Dark Moon Fair. Dark Moon Fair runs every month from the first Sunday of the month to the Saturday of that week. If you look at your calendar on the first Sunday of the month, you will see the Dark Moon Fair and the banner across the week ending at 11.59 p.m. Saturday night. And today at the fair, I'm going to show you some very special pets that you can find from certain vendors at the fair. This is in addition to Lahara and the Dark Moon Cubs and Tonks and Zeppelins and and the wild pets that are around, the Glowflies and the Crows. It's, it's different than all of that. You only can get, get these pets when you're at the Dark Moon Fair. They're available once a month, and we're going to go get the Tree Frogs, the Wood Frog, and maybe if we can even find Jub Jub. We'll get Jub Jub too. So, enter the fair, and in the fairgrounds, running around behind the roller coaster down here by this pavilion out here in the woods, you will find a character. It's a little orc orphan boy chasing his frogs around. His name is Flick, F L I K. And if you type in the target command, so you press enter and swipe type slash T-A-R-F-L-I-K. If he's in range, a little dot will appear on your mini-map, and it'll be the target. You have to talk to him while he's chasing his little frogs around, so you can purchase the tree frog and the wood frog from him. Let's come over here. Let's type in slash target flick again. Oh, whoops. I need the slash T-A-R-F-L-I-K. There he is. You see? He's over there on the other side. He's running around in the woods back there. You can see his little target there. Flick's frog right there. So run. Oh, he's back here somewhere. Uh-oh. He went out of range. He's running around. Let's target him again. There he is. Okay, so there he is running around. He runs all over. you got to go up to him and talk to him while he's running around. And hopefully you can you can get him. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't run away. See, he's kind of hard. He's kind of hard to target and actually talk to. Ah. There we go. We got him. So when you talk to him, you can purchase tree frogs for 85 silver. And also, he carries one wood frog. So you can purchase tree frogs and wood frogs. And these guys... There's the wood frog. It looks like that. Kind of a cool little pet. Okay, and then the tree frog looks like this. It's just a green frog. So there's Flick. You can buy the frogs from him for super cheap. So there he is. He's running around. He runs around all over the fairgrounds. Just type slash T-A-R Flick, F-L-I-K. And if he's in range, a little target icon will appear on your mini-map. Run over there, find Flick, talk to him and get your frogs. Like I said, he runs all over the fair. Now, if you come back here by the bonfire where Kronos is, who gives out the quest for jewel crafters, herbalists, skinners, and a couple others, you will find a sad-looking person right here by the name of Morja. And Morja says, I can't find my pet frog, Jub Jub. She loves dark iron ale. It's all she ever drinks, but can be so hard to get. Now I'm out, and Jub Jub must have run away to find more. I wish she would come back. Okay, so you need Dark Iron Ale. And you get this from the Grim Guzzlers. So, if you are looking at your map, you come over here to the Eastern Kingdoms to Burning Steps, and you go inside Black Rock Mountain. And inside Black Rock Mountain, there is an instant called Black Rock Depths. I'm going to come here to Atlas Loop to Classic. And we're going to go to Black Rock Depths and look at the map. So here in Black Rock Depths, you need to find the Grim Guzzler. And the Grim Guzzler is the bar inside, inside Black Rock Depths. It's up in Shadow Forge City. It has the bosses of Plugger Sparzing... Um, Hurley Black Breath and also Phalanx is the bosses of the Grim Guzzler. Now up here on this upper level of the Grim Guzzler on the 
on the bar area, you'll find Plugger Sparzing wandering around. You can purchase Dark Iron Ale mugs from him. You can get about 10 before he stops selling them to you. And then on the various tables up here, you'll find just Dark Iron Ale mugs sitting around. But if you pick them up, he's going to accuse you of stealing. And he's going to attack you and cause the whole bar to come after you. But you need Dark Iron Ale in order to woo Jub Jub and bring him back to Morja. So, we need to come out here into the forest behind the Darkmoon Fair. He wanders around out here behind the roller coaster. So if we do a slash T-A-R and say Jub Jub, if he's in range, then we can target him. But if not, we have to go find him. And it's going to take between 20 and 35 Dark Iron Ale mugs to get him to go back to Morja. Let's try a slash target Jub Jub again. Hmm, kind of hard to find. He's a he's a red and green frog, and he's he's somewhere out here in the fairgrounds somewhere. Hmm, I don't see him anywhere. Let me let me see if I can find him and I'll meet I'll meet back up with you just as soon as he is located. So I'll meet back I'll meet back up with you in just a moment. Okay, I have found Jub Jub. I found him out here, down here by the docks. And he's hopping around looking for dark iron ale mugs. So what you need to do, you need to target Jub Jub and you need to be fairly close to him. And you need to drop a dark iron ale mug on the ground so he will see it. If you drop it behind him, he's going to come back and pick it up. Look at that. We put it on the ground. He comes back here. So now we need to do another one. Oh, no, we don't want to destroy it. We want to we bring him back. And you need to bring him back to Morja. And so what you need to do is you need to leave a trail for him so he can come back to Morja. So we'll drop another one for him, and we need to guide him back to his handler, Morja. So there's another one, and he's going to just keep following us back. And so you need a lot of these dark iron ale mugs, and you need to leave a trail for him and bring him back to Morja. So just keep dropping them in the forest and keep getting him to come back and following you around. There we go. Don't put them too far apart so he can come and he can just follow the trail of Dark Iron Ale mugs. This is why you need between 20 and 35 so you can create a trail of Dark... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Come back and get your Ale mug. How close are we to the... right over there. So we need to start coming in this direction. So yeah, you're going to need a lot of these dark iron ale mugs. So you saw that I started out with 40 of them. And we need to leave Judge Up back to Morja. Where are we at? We're almost back to the, the bonfires right over there. So we just need to leave some more Dark Iron Ale mugs as a trail for him. You can only have five on the ground at a time. So wait for him to drink one. I like to do three and bring him back to Morja. Okay, we're almost back there. We're almost back there. I think that one's going to be close enough. Yep, it is. So he's going to come and get that one. We're almost back to Morja. We're on our last 20 mugs. 
Uh oh, he's running away. Oh wait, there we go. There he's coming back. He's coming back. There we go. So yeah, don't put them too far apart. Otherwise, he won't go to them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. He's coming back to him. Okay, so. Uh oh, is he jumping too far away? Uh oh, he's gonna come back. Okay, there we go. He's coming back to the Dark Iron Ale mugs, and here we are. We're almost to Morgia. See, Morgia just right over here. And here's Jub Jub coming and following the trail of Dark Iron Ale Mugs. You can have five on the ground at a time. We're just going to put a trail right over to Morgia. Okay, so once you bring Jub Jub back and he gets sufficiently close to Morgia, then Morgia is going to celebrate and you can talk to. There's Hi, Jub Jub, I missed you. And you'll get a quest from Morgia. I'm so happy Jub Jub is no longer lost. She loves Dark Iron Ale so much that when I ran out, she ran away to find more. Now that Jub Jub's back, I want as much ale as I can get. I won't want her to run away again. Do you have any Dark Iron Ale? If you do, then I'll trade you one of Jub Jub's frog eggs for a mug. So check objectives. You need to have at least one mug left over. I had 40 when I started out. I used 32. So we're going to trade a Dark Iron Ale mug, and we're going to get a Jub Jub egg. Thank you. Here is your egg. It won't be ready to hatch for a little while, but when it does, you'll have a great prize. So unhatched jubbling egg. So we got that... We got that unhatched jubbling egg. So use, has hatch a jubbling from the egg. It will take a while before the egg is ready to hatch. Cool down remaining. It basically takes seven days. You have to wait a full week for your jubbling egg to hatch. But when it does, we'll come here to our pet journal and we will type in jub. We get a jubbling pet. And this is the froggy we get once we have... Waited the full seven days. You have to wait a full seven days, and you will eventually get the egg to hatch, and you will get a jubbling pet. And that's the frog you can get at the Darkmoon Fair with a whole bunch of dark iron ale mugs by talking to Morgia and leading Jub Jub back to camp. So, if you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up, rate us a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you always know when new content comes out. Also, please tell your friends about us so they can come and they can enjoy these videos and enjoy the content just as much as you do. If you would like to see anything special on my channel, please leave a comment in the box below and I'll do my best to accommodate your requests. Finally, and most importantly of all, please remember this. World of Warcraft is just a game, and games are meant to be fun and to have fun while playing them, so if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Meet me back here next time for my next guide video in the games that we play and the games that we enjoy, but until then, I'm Z, signing off.